Hello, book buddies. It's Mrs. Bruley. Today we have an Easter story called The Chocolate Rabbit, originally by Maria Claret, with revisions by Jean O'Sullivan. Not so very long ago, the rabbit family lived in a little town not far from here. There was Papa Rabbit, Mama Rabbit, Polly and Patty, and little Robbie Rabbit. Papa Rabbit was a very fine artist. In fact, he was the one who painted the Easter eggs. He painted them pink and blue and green and yellow. He painted them with swirls and stripes and fantastic flowers. He painted beautiful eggs. He was very clever. Polly and Patty and Robbie were all very proud of their Papa. They wanted very much to help him with the eggs, but they were too young. Robbie and his sisters were still little rabbits who had to go to school every day. Of course, there was time for fun, too. After school, Robbie liked to visit with the neighbors. Or take his pet turtle for a walk down to the carrot patch, or race r the robins across the field. One day, when Mama Rabbit was out visiting, Polly came home with her basket all covered up. Robbie, look what I have for Papa, she said, and her basket was full of eggs. What a wonderful idea, said Robbie. I'll get some too. Robbie took the money he had saved and went down to the hen house. He bought half a dozen fine fresh eggs from Mrs. Hen. On his way home, Robbie decided to get some flowers to decorate his basket. But he was in a hurry and didn't watch where he was going and splat! All the eggs got smashed. Oh dear, sobbed Robbie. I just wanted to help Papa. Don't worry, said a wise little field mouse. He'll be a big help to your Papa very soon. Mama Rabbit woke up early the next morning. Poor Robbie, she said. He tried so hard to help. I'll make him some nice hot chocolate for breakfast. Maybe that will help him feel better. When the chocolate was cooked, Mama Rabbit put it to the side. It would cool while everyone was getting ready for breakfast. But little Robbie woke up and smelled the chocolate. He climbed on a stool for just a little peek, and he reached up with a spoon for just a tiny taste of the cool chocolate and oops! Down came the stool, down came the spoon, down came Robbie, and on top of them all, down came the chocolate. Everyone came running and they stood there speechless, staring at their little chocolate Robbie. Of course, cried Papa. That's it, Robbie. You've given me a wonderful idea. Papa Rabbit got out his tools and a piece of wood and began to carve. Soon, there was a little wooden rabbit that looked just like Robbie. Mama Rabbit cooked some more chocolate while Papa made a mold from the little wooden rabbit. Mama poured the chocolate carefully into the mold, and when the chocolate had set, there it was. The chocolate rabbit. Today, the rabbit family is very proud to see so many chocolate rabbits in the store windows every year. And proudest of all is Robbie. After all, he was the very first chocolate rabbit himself. I hope you enjoyed our story. And when you see a chocolate rabbit, maybe you'll think of little Robbie. Until next time, book buddies. Happy reading!